Hi, I'm Angelica. And I'm Jasmine. And for our sociology class, we have to take a social issue and demonstrate how sociologists would approach studying and understanding it, and then take a personal issue in our life and show how we can utilize sociological concepts to make better sense of it. We chose a topic of single parenting, and people become single parents for many reasons, but some of the common ones are divorce, death of the spouse, and more commonly, unplanned pregnancy. There's a stigma surrounding single parents, and one of the most talked about ones is the financial aspect, because everyone who pays taxes has money taken out of their checks to fund public assistance, public assistance programs, and many people feel that it isn't their responsibility to take care of other people's children. And some people even feel that people who do receive financial assistance are just too lazy to look for work, but when in reality, the unemployment rate is at its highest. Another thing that is believed is that many children of single parents will grow up to commit deviant acts because if their parent is working, then they don't have enough time to give their children the attention that they need so they can turn to gangs and drugs to get what attention they don't get at home. And also, growing up in a single parent home can cause a role conflict because when the parent's not at home to take care of the children, it usually becomes the job of the oldest, oldest child and so they kind of come like a surrogate parent and so they can't go out with their friends on the weekend because they have to make sure that their younger sisters or brothers are taken care of and it kind of forces them to grow up too fast and speaking on the personal um, side of it by being raised in a poor single parent household I thought about it and I realized that I received a lot of different attention um, growing up in school like in elementary school than my classmates who the majority of which whom the majority of which grew up in um, households with two parents and you know middle class and things like that um, one thing I noticed was how my teachers treated me differently um, my school oops never mind um, <laughs> All of my teachers spent extra time with me. They worked with me after class and showed me special attention. Um, now, as I've grown up, I realize that even if it was a simple pat on the shoulder, or on the head, or even like a, a extra gold sticker that they gave me, um, the symbolic interaction expressed their style for me. They never really said that they were apologetic about my situation or empathized with it, but the things they did, the small gestures, like inviting me to their own kids' birthday parties, you know, even if they didn't invite any of the other students, um, it showed me that they, you know, understood my situation. Well, not necessarily understood it, but, you know, kind of, they just tried to help out as much as they could. And, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Bye.